you gave me. Pero na ina kini jengo. She gave me of the tree and I did it. Yes, ina kini ngara ito na kwa kito ida bu ena yam. The woman you gave me. Pero na ina kini jengo. That woman gave me the tree and I ate. Abu aperu ni na ina kini ngara ito anyamio. The woman you gave me. Pero na ina kini jengo. That woman gave me the tree and I ate. Abu aperu ni na ina kini ngara ito anyamio. This came out of a problem that had now befallen this married family. Apart no alamu to automatically na abu to ike du bolelo. These people had finished their first wedding. Apart to alamu da uli to se bu koneke jelo sodi. And as the priest who wedded them left, they remained in the garden. Enyo esa se bu dile tu du koki rikesi apart ke so salato manikon. And they began to enjoy the beauty that was given to them in the garden. Okay, one of the I no more. The woman went on finding the best that she could give to her husband. Unfortunately, she was able to be tempted and she brought extra things to her husband. And then now the husband is affected. And now the priest is coming to find out what is happening. And the man quickly said, "We hid from you." And he said to him, "What have you done?" And the husband said immediately, "That woman you gave to me." But provide the basic leadership. 
need that the family needs. Second thing you must do as a husband is to provide the unconditional love for your wife. The person that you are holding her hand today, the Bible says, she is the weaker vessel. Not that she is weak that she cannot fight you. Not that she cannot face circumstances of the world. I pray that all men that are here, 
will develop the unconditional love. It's the only thing that sustains the family. When your love is conditional, you will destroy your home. But when your love is built on the unconditional love, you will use the weakness of a woman to strengthen your family. So learn also to equip your wife. The wife has gifts and talents. Those talents are still immaterial. They are raw material. It is upon us to develop those potentials that women have. For those potentials bring the complement of your home. And therefore, provide your wife with an equipment, equip her, prepare her. So she's also empowered to respond to circumstances. Do not blame one another. Check whether you have played your part. The woman. You have been created so special. You are the helpmate that is suitable for man. No other person, no, no other thing can suit a man than a woman. And I can tell you those of us who are men who are here. We are very sure that nothing suits us other than a woman. And woman, I want you to play your part to become a suitable helper for them. How do you do this? of man. A woman I want you to behave like a chameleon. Yes. When and because of your compliment of him you will receive the blessing of this man in an amazing manner. When a man is complimented by his wife There is 
nothing in the world equivalent to it. so disturbed and God looked at him and said he needs a helper you are that comfort that God gave it is very important I like to say this to you again I want to say this thing and pray that God will make you the husband to understand the dignity of a woman I want you to understand that the dignity of the woman the woman is made is by God and God took your side the dignity of a woman is not because she was created from the dust of the earth Richard, she was not created from the dust of the earth. She was taken from your rib and from your side, not from the ground. It was not taken from the dust of the earth. But your side. It was not dust. It was fresh and born. The woman is not a product of the soil. She is the product of a man. That's why she is not. She is your equal. She is not under you. She is not above you. She is your equal because she was taken from the center of your height. Not from the dust of the earth. We, me, I was taken from the rough soil. Not from the soil. You were taken from the anti hill somewhere. But that woman was taken from your side. Why should you mistreat her? Why? Who has ever mistreated his body? She is taken from your side. So she is your equal. Number two. Why is the woman special? She is taken from my armpit here. here. For security. For me to protect her. That's because everything from my side I protect by my hand. She was taken from my armpit here. And I can tell you nothing gets here. The hand is put there to defend. Nothing should touch you here. My brother, don't touch your wife. All the wives were given things for organs from inside. She is your liver. <laughs> a man is the best part of a toe if you like it. And take care of her. That's why she's taken from your heart. This is your heart. Treasure her very well. 
That is one of the greatest things that you can find from a woman. Father, that they will be blessed again. And may every woman rise to be the crown of the whole. The crown of this marriage. And let this home look so awesome. We thank you again. And we bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name.